Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you could track out your drums from Drum Machine Designer into individual wave stems. As you can see here, I already uh, started making a beat. I'll unsolo the drums right now and let you hear the first eight bars really quick. So now what we'll do is uh, come down here, right click it, and then separate by no pitch. If this doesn't appear at the top, it means you've never used it before, or you haven't used it recently. What we're going to do is uh, come down to MIDI and then separate by no pitch. It's going to now separate all of those different drum sounds onto separate tracks like so. And uh, now we can track them out. So I'm just going to solo out the drums for the purpose of this tutorial, and we'll track them out right now. So I'm going to come up to File export all tracks as audio files and we'll select where we want to save them and to make sure that uh, I'm exporting in wave 24 bit and selecting one file per channel strip I uh, have export cycle range only that means just the loop here will be uh, will be exported you can always go to um, if you want to do the entire beat you could always come to trim silence at file end okay uh, I usually include the volume and pan information and turn my normalize off export. So it's going through these individual tracks now and making WAV files out of them. What we'll do next is import these back into Logic Pro X. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on how to track out drums from Drum Machine Designer. If you have any questions, you know what to do, put those in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button so you're notified anytime we upload new content. My name's CJ, I'm out for now. Deuces.